Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. And he do into Hux World. And yes, we're going to be counting down the top seven features of the One UI on the Galaxy Note 9. Now, if you hadn't gotten it yet, you should get it on your Note 9 really soon. Also, you should be getting it on the S9, the S9 Plus. Also, it's gonna come to the Galaxy S10 when it arrives, and it should trickle down to the Galaxy Note 8. With that being said, let's go ahead and kick off this okay, review. Well, welcome back. Now, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start this off, but I'm gonna tell you, for those of you all who are thinking about upgrading from like the Galaxy Note 4, the Galaxy S4, or the Galaxy Note 5, I'm telling you, it's gonna be worth the upgrade if you're gonna upgrade to the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, and also the Galaxy Note 9, not to mention the Galaxy S10. All right, so with that being said, let's kick off this first feature that I think is off the charts, right? Now, the name of this feature is called Navigation Bar. This is like a gesture control, right? Now, your menu buttons are down at the bottom. You don't have to double tap to bring it up anymore. So right now, if I want to go back, let me go into an application like, let's say my gallery. So if I go into my gallery and I want to go back, all I got to do is swipe up. Same thing, if I go into it again and I go in the middle, that's my home button. And of course, this one right here is going to be my recents. And if I want to go there, I can go there. So now let me hit the back button and it takes me back. Now it's real easy, but let's say you don't know how to use that. Plus we need to show you exactly where to go get it from as well. So if I tap on menu, I go down to, I see display, and then I scroll down until I see navigation bar. Now here's where your gestures are. So if you don't like it, you can cut it off and you can put it where to have the navigation buttons up, but I like it without it. I'm gonna give it a shot for about another week. I'm thinking this is really, really cool. And you also can change the button order as well, just like you could before the UI changed. And also you got a gesture hint. So for those of you all who are thinking you can't see where it's at, if you tap right here, it's gonna also put lines there to let you know exactly where you are. So let's go out, give you an idea to see what I'm talking about. So let's tap on, let's say, hmm, my Cadillac app, all right? So if I tap there, if you look, there's lines right there. And if you can't see it, I do it on another one. Let's do it on my Wear app. See right here? So you got three lines that'll show you exactly what to swipe at so you could take it back or you can just go ahead and go to the home or you could hit your recents, which I thought was pretty cool. So every time you hit an application, it's gonna pull it right up. That is beautiful. Let's go ahead, let's check out feature number two. Feature number two has to deal with the always on display. Now me personally, I love having the always on display on. I like being able to see my time at a glance with no problem. But for some people, a lot of people to be exact, have an issue with the always on display being on. They believe it burns tons of battery. Now there is a fix for that through the One UI. Now, as you can see, my lock screen is on. I just wanted to show you, and I keep it on at all times. But for you, again, there is a fix. Let's go ahead and go into the settings. And once you go into settings, you're gonna look for lock screen. Once you see lock screen, tap on the always on display. Scroll up, you'll see display mode. Now, you got three options. You can either set it, to go on and off at a certain time, which is what I pretty much do. And you could put it on show always. But for those of you all who have an issue with the always on display being on, hit tap to show, right? Now, once you do that, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna lock the screen. And as you can see, it's not cutting on, it's gonna be a blank slate. Now, all you simply have to do is one single tap with your thumb or your finger and your screen display is on. You can extract the information you're looking for. You can go into your notifications, of course, and you're good to go. So this is definitely gonna save on battery life for those of you all who really, really have issues and are trying to conserve as much battery as possible. This is gonna be the feature that you wanna set soon as this feature update number three is called Smart Pop-Up View. I like this one. Now, what this is gonna put you in the mind of is what you get from Facebook. Facebook you get a little pop-up, a little round notification that pops up. The same thing that's gonna happen here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna send a notification to myself so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So this is coming from a contact. If you got a picture, it'll show the picture. Other than that, it's gonna show the symbol of that app. Now, if you're gonna get something from WhatsApp or Facebook, it's gonna have the symbol of that particular application
notification to notification, which is pretty good. So you can move this around, have you see fit, just like you would with the one from Facebook. You can open it up. What I like about it is that you can maximize it, you can minimize it, or you can go into a split view as well, or you can simply just get rid of it and you can resize it as well if I have a big, you want to resize it too, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna minimize it and keep it because I like it. My wife says she loves me, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. All right, now with that being said, this is how you find that and set that. You go ahead and drop your screen, you go to menu, and once you go there, you're going to look for advanced features. Now, go into advanced features to be at the top right there. It's going to say smart pop up view. Just tap on that and you go ahead and you tap on what notifications you want to come up in that pop up. And if you don't want certain things to come up, then you don't have to. But this is how you get to it. This is how you set it. This is how you unset it as well. So if you don't like it, just go ahead and uncheck it and you're good. So I like that this feature came because I do use the one from Facebook. I thought it was pretty cool. And with that, let's go on to the next feature. Feature number four. Now feature number four is nice. This one is called auto optimization. Now you're gonna find this one located, of course, in your settings. You're gonna go to settings. You're gonna go down to you see uh, device care, which used to be device maintenance. Once you tap on here, it gives you pretty much everything that you would get in device maintenance uh, before this before the update. But this is what's new, auto optimization. Now what's gonna happen is, is that your phone is gonna automatically optimize your phone for everything that's running in the background that you don't need. It's not gonna do anything that's recent, which is cool, but if you don't wanna do that, you can have this done at any time you want to. I got mine set for 3 a.m. in the morning, which is pretty cool. That way it doesn't disturb me. And if I go back out and go to the menu again, I like this. This is something new as well. It's called app issues. Now it's going to let you know every app that's having issues. You see, I got kiss anime up, up top. I got 525 for navigation bar. Now that lets me know that if these are causing issues and I got this many issues, then I need to let go of it. I need to delete it. And I thought that was a cool feature to add. So I need to check every now and then, especially when I download new applications to my device. So I like this feature. Nice addition to the One UI. Now the next feature on the list is gonna be night mode. Now I'm gonna call it dark mode, but it's really night mode, but it's a nice look. Now you get to it in two ways, right? First, you can drop the screen, you got it here, um, and it's nice. So if I wanna cut it off, I can cut it off. If I wanna leave it on, I can. And you can also go to the settings and go up under display and you'll find night mode as well. Okay, so you got a couple of places in which you can go to to find night mode. And I think it's a, a nice added feature so far as uh, being easy on the eyes, reading at night and things of that nature, but it does not work with third party apps, only your native apps like, of course, your gallery, it's gonna be in dark mode. You're gonna have your messages that are gonna be in dark mode as well. Uh, phone dialer, dark mode. Just want to show you the one that's going to be in dark mode. Of course, your Samsung internet. Also your camera. Let's go back to the home screen and your clock as well. So this is a nice added feature so far as dark mode being easy on the eyes, but also giving the UI a nicer look. Of course, it's going to be in your settings as we showed you as well. So yes, I like the look. It looks nice. It looks clean. It looks really good. Feature number six. Now number six is nice. It's called lift to wake and it's exactly what it says. You can lift your phone up and it's gonna automatically wake without you hitting any buttons at all. I think it's an awesome feature to have. Now when I lift mine up, I got my lock screen on so it goes straight to the lock screen. But if you don't have any security on here, it's gonna go automatically to your home screen. Now how do you activate it? Just go ahead, go to your settings. And once you go to settings, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna find advanced features. Tap on advanced features, go down to you see motion and gestures, and it's gonna be right at the top. So if you like it, then go ahead, cut it on. If you don't like it, just leave it off. Me, I like it. I like waking my device up without even doing anything. That's gonna be a cool feature to play with for a little while. But yes, that's lift to wake people. A nice feature added Last to the one UI. Least. Feature number seven, which is nice. They didn't clean this feature up a whole heck of a lot. And it's called recents, right? Now your recent button is normally over here, not unless you change the setup, but mine is here. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna swipe up and it brings you here. I like this clean look. 
I got it in the dark theme mode, but what I like about it is, is everything is in plain view. You just simply swipe and everything is right here for you. Now, what I also like about it is that if you tap on it, it gives you your settings. You no longer have to tap at the top in order to get it. I thought that was pretty cool as well. Now for some of them, like let's say this one, it brings up more features so you can Open this up into split view, pop up view. You can lock the app. You can pin the app as well. And of course, your split view is going to be the same. You can resize uh, the page as you see fit, which is pretty cool. And this is nice. So let's go back into it. Now, I also like pop up view. Pop up view is probably one of my favorites and I can minimize it and I can save it. One thing I didn't show you is that if I want to remove, all I got to do is simply just hold down on it. It brings up the trash can for me to remove it, which I thought was super awesome. And we're going to go back into this, right? Because right here is like your recent application that you've used. So let's say we go into this application. Once you go into it, and you're done with it, I'm gonna go back out and I'm gonna go into it, it gets rid of it and it brings another application that you normally use in its place, which I thought was awesome. Now, if you wanna close all, of course you can close all. If you wanna get rid of these applications, just simply swipe up. If you wanna bring it to you, just simply swipe down and you can bring that application and open it up. I like the way they cleaned up this recent. It looks so much better, it offers so much more and it is quick and convenient. I love it. All right, you all, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. And if it was, please make sure you hit the like button on the way out. And if you want to see more videos like this, then by all means, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all again at the next video. Take care.